I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? You're short-sighted, just like your father. But you speak the truth as you see it, just like everyone else. We, on the other hand, are visionaries. We understand the petrification disease on a deeper level. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet, and I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the Alchemists, isn't hospitable.
sorry to startle you. It seems that the power of the listener within me, the power to hear Erica, is getting stronger. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Maybe it's because of the power of this Saint Tess statue. I came to you because I wanted to tell you about Simon. The terrible things he does. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future, even worse than the disasters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please, save Krat. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm a listener. To bear witness. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me. In this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out. Wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe... It wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree of them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Petrification disease, puppet frenzy, and carcass monsters don't happen by chance. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life, made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves, or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power, and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. device must be powered by gold coin fruit. A new life for an old puppet.
people have no idea. Thanks for keeping me. Lady Antonia has heard about the Grand Exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. No matter what fate brings us, serving her, welcome to Hotel. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener, to bear witness. Whatever choice you make. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. I'm a soldier from outside Krat. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? I get the puppets, but what are the monsters doing here? What is happening to Krat? At the house of Anini. I hear there is a new guest at the hotel. And that you had a little something to do with that. I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers. Everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ta! And here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares, huh? Now, let's get out there and save my... That is our city. Ah, <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of... conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So... The King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo Wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple, brilliant genius and a man about town. 
I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. I always welcome... Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about Arius. I knew the alchemists were up to something. Something more sinister than just a cure. I should have known. Never trust an alchemist, I always say. But in desperate times, I broke my own rule. This is tragic news, especially for Antonia. Do what you can to keep her heart from breaking. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. S sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are... you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but... I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit.
Stalker, please. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I... cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. I will administer the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. No matter what fate brings us, serving her is welcome to...
Will you do, um, me a favor? For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just give this to Alidoro. I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at the...
choice you make. Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure, and never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Are you there? Can you hear me? Please. The gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? Hey, it happens. It's a smart choice. Those things are priceless. And I don't even know if you have any. But now you know that your friends are desperately in need of it. I don't use that word lightly, desperate. But it's true. Without your help, my brother may never see the light again. So if you do find any gold coin fruit, I hope you'll share it with us. I'd be forever grateful. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? Hey, it happens. It's a smart choice. But now you know that your friend... I don't use that word like... So if you do find...
monsters. This is a nightmare. I'm living my own nightmare. Puppets and alchemists forget it. It is their secret island. A place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there? Just not worth getting our hopes up, companion. 